Honolulu Zoo Director Linda Santos says a surprise inspection by the USDA was overdue. Inspectors were at the zoo mid-January to early February. A thorough inspection had not happened in the last couple of years due to COVID. Things that they normally find, um, you know, is, is things that I would say zoos get hit on all the time because it's hard to keep up on those little, um, you know, rust spots. And A USDA spokesperson says they cannot share details yet about the inspection, but Santos says the zoo got a few citations, including for rust in areas where some of the animals sleep, peeled paint on the floor, and for failing to follow procedures, like moving the guinea pigs indoors when temperatures reach 85 and higher. The Simon Gibbon, we had to provide more shade. So we gave them access to their holding, but we also put up a new um, platform for shade structure. So we were able to address those small issues really quickly within the week. Santos says these citations are minor. USDA documents show the last time the Honolulu Zoo received a critical citation was in 2018, after a young male chimp escaped its enclosure and sneaked into an older chimp's housing, and in an altercation, the older chimp lost half of its left middle finger. The Honolulu Zoo director says they welcome the USDA. They say it gets them ready for the next ACA accreditation inspection. Accreditation by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums opens up breeding program opportunities for the zoo, helping exchange animals with other facilities. The zoo just got its accreditation back in 2020. We are going to go up for AZA inspection, so having USDA come first actually is the same standards. The zoo working with the AZA for breeding opportunities for Anala, the lone female Sumatran tiger left at the zoo. Two tigers were euthanized in January due to kidney disease complications, including the male identified as a pair for Anala. Introductions can be really tricky, even for breeding. We have to time it just right. Um, otherwise, they could kill each other. So, um, you know, being alone for her is fine, but for the species, it's not. We will follow up on the release of the USDA inspection report. Max Rodriguez, KH1 News, working for Hawaii.